So this question here from the National 5 2019 exam paper 1 lets us focus on the topic of operations using fractions. Now we should be able to do all four operations, add, subtract, multiply and divide. We tend to get asked one question relating to one of the operations in the exam. In this case we're looking at multiplying a pair of fractions. So we've got 3 over 8 times 1 and 5 over 7 giving our answer in its simplest form. Now for a question like this when it comes to multiplying a pair of fractions the first thing we need to do is make sure there's no mixed numbers. So we've got 1 and 5 over 7, we need to write that as an improper fraction for being able to do the calculation. So we change our calculation to 3 over 8 times 1 and 5 over 7 written as an improper fraction, 12 over 7. Now there's two ways we can approach it at this point. First is to straight up multiply across and then simplify. So if we were to do that, we'd multiply top numbers 3 times 12 and we get 36. We'd multiply across the bottom numbers, 7 eighths are 56, and then simplify down from there. So we could take it in stages, so we could divide by 2 and we get 18 over 28, and then divide by 2 again and we get 9 over 14. So we could end up with an answer which is 9 over 14. We could divide by 4 and do that one in one jump itself. Another way we could approach it is by taking our 3 over 8 times 12 over 7 and actually factorising and simplifying across before we start to do the multiplication itself. So what you can do is look at the numbers diagonally opposite each other and think, do they have a common factor between them? Well, 3 and 7 don't. But if I look at 8 and 12, both of these numbers have 4 as a factor of them. So if I do 8 divided by 4, I get 2. And if I do 12 divided by 4, I get 3. So I can simplify this down to make it 3 over 2 times 3 over 7. So I've now got an easier multiplication calculation to do, plus I don't have to worry about this simplification at the end. I would still approach it the same way. Multiply the tops, multiply the bottoms, write my fraction. In this case, 3 times 3 gives me 9, 2 times 7 gives me 14. Thankfully, same answer as I got it there. Just two different ways of doing this. Now, question like this is worth two marks. First mark is for writing it as an improper fraction, realising that that's the first step of being able to solve a question like this. Second mark is for getting your answer. The 9 over 14, it doesn't matter which way around you do it, stick with the one that resonates best for you. If you prefer factorising and simplifying at this stage, stick with the top method. If you prefer going across diagonally and simplifying at this stage first, stick with the second method. Bottom line, and most importantly, 9 over 14 is what you get regardless of the technique you use. More than one way of doing it, stick with the one which is best for you.